Dirk DeRoos is installing this safe room in a Bixby home today. He's the inventor of this cylinder-shaped tornado shelter. If anything's going to keep you safe, it's going to be a steel cylinder cap with a dome. Derp says his shelter can withstand an EF5 tornado, and that's because of its shape since the wind travels over it. He believes it means it's safer than a square or rectangle shelter. Engineering professor Dr. Stephen Tipton says Dirk's theory makes sense, especially if you think about an airplane shape. However, Dr. Tipton says the wind must hit a shelter in the perfect spot in order to move any shelter. It's up to every every individual to, to define how much they want to spend. I mean, what's the cost versus the reward and the risk versus reward, and you kind of have to do that assessment yourself. As for Dirk, these hilti anchors are fastening down his New Day tornado shelter. The bolts go into this concrete slab without ever touching the soil. It's designed to reduce the risk, and there aren't any shelters out there that could be considered 100%. And you can see his storm shelter is approved by the National Storm Shelter Association. The NSSA follows all FEMA requirements. For 100 years, it, the whole thing was get below ground, and that was good sense at the time because nobody knew what to engineer for. Now, FEMA officials say you can create your own safe closet in your house by pouring cement walls and a cement ceiling. To find out all the information on that, go to the FEMA packet, which is on our website, kjrh.com. Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.